This is Father Jim Corda. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe. Our celebrant is Father Jim Corda, president of CTNY, the Catholic television network of Youngstown. I'm Barb Zorn from Holy Family Parish in Poland and St. Columba Cathedral. As we pray this mass, let us remember in our prayers, Edward Sepsik. Crown him with many crowns, the lamb upon his throne. Hark how the heavenly anthem drowns all music but its own. Awake my soul and sing of him who set us free. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's nice to be with you today as we gather to celebrate God's love and presence. So together now let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore, adore you, you, we glorify you, we, glorify you, we, we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God Heavenly, Heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten, begotten Son, Son, Lord God, God Lamb, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty's service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep as a shepherd tends his flock when he finds himself among his scattered sheep. So will I tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered, when it was cloudy and dark. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The lost I will seek out. The strayed I will bring back. The injured I will bind up. The sick I will heal. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. As for you, my sheep, says the Lord God, I will judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. 
The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is nothing, nothing I, I shall want. want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. The Lord, the Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is nothing, nothing I shall want. want. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is nothing, nothing I, I shall want. want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my, my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I, I shall want. want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I, I shall, shall want. want. A reading from the first level letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia. kingdom of our father David that is to come. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations will be assembled before him and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates sheep from goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. A stranger and you welcomed me. Naked and you clothed me. Ill and you cared for me. In prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least of mine, you did for me. Then, he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you accursed, 
into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, one of the interesting things about the parables of Jesus is that most of the time we can find ourselves somewhere in the story. I think that's one of the reasons that they have stayed alive in our memory over these many, many centuries. Now with that in mind, let's take a closer look at today's gospel parable. Now G Jesus separates people into two groups. Those on the right are told that they can enter the kingdom of heaven because they minister to Jesus in times of need. Then there are those who are denied entry into the joys of heaven because they turn their backs on the Lord in his hour of need. However, I think we need to go back and take a closer look at the parable because I think we're missing the main point. Actually, there were not two groups of people in the story. There were actually three groups of people. There were the people who helped, there were the people who refused to help, and there were the people who needed help. That last group is the one that we often overlook. And it's strange that we would do that because they are the people with whom Jesus closely identified. He said that to help them is to help him, and to neglect them is to neglect him. The real meaning of the parable is that Jesus took his stand with the needy people of this world. Do you see the significance of that? Jesus not only cared about the needy and sought to help the needy, but he completely identified himself with the needy. Their hunger was his hunger. Their loneliness was his loneliness. Their need was his need. They were not just another group, they were his brothers and his sisters. Let's face it, that is where you and I belong as well. We are all members of the same group. We are all part of the same family. We all belong to the fellowship of the needy. None of us is so self-sufficient, no matter how hard we try at times. I need your help. You need my help. The need that is out there is something that is common among us. And there are people who need our help, and we need their help. So the question is, who are the needy? I am, you are, everyone is. Today, I may help you, but tomorrow you may help me. We are all members of the same family, sharing our love, sharing our resources, and sharing our needs. Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, 
born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with, with the, the Father, Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the church, that we may hasten our work to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, shelter the homeless, and comfort the neglected. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That world leaders may be inspired by Jesus' call to care for the least ones among us and develop policies and laws that show compassion to those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the most vulnerable, those living on the peripheries of society, the forgotten, the overlooked, the abandoned, that they may find comfort and dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all who are seeking the Lord in today's complicated world, that they may see the face of Christ reflected in the goodness and mercy of those who serve others in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all of us celebrating Thanksgiving this week, in thanksgiving to God for all blessings that we have received this past year, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, as we celebrate this feast of your kingship, may we especially celebrate the needy among us and reach out to them and one day be welcomed to the fullness of your human family in heaven. We make this prayer in the spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and king of all creation, 
salvation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Lord Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give Let us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. On you stay, quit all is peccato mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, quit all is peccato mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, quit all is peccato Mundi, dono nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not am worthy, worthy that you should, should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof but, but only say, say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, amen. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorifying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. To be your presence is our mission here, to show compassion's face.